Hello, I'm Jeannie Shaw. I am your instructor for this connection with um, Soma, Soul, and Psyche. And I'd like to um, introduce myself a bit before we um, continue with this 10-week course. Uh, what I want to tell you is that um, my involvement in somatics has been uh, pretty much my entire career. I began in dance um, with an undergraduate degree in dance and English, all of which you can find on, you know, the internet as you check out CVs. But also, um, early on, I was just very drawn into this concept of Soma and Psyche working together. Um, as an undergraduate, one of the areas that I explored in dance philosophy was dance therapy. Um, that plugged me into an internship in dance therapy straight out of undergrad school. Um, I pursued dance therapy academically, got a master's um, in a, a more general area that pulled in that dance therapy. And then, um, not too long ago, finished my PhD at Pacifica. The focus, um, though, all through my studies has been how does the moving body communicate? And um, I have a dance company at Berry College where I teach full time. But even there, it's not just dance, let's make it attractive, let's make it pretty. It's more about um, finding the expressive quality, but then also I go deeper into dream time. And I find that um, moving dreams, whether they're for self-exploration or moving dreams to create a main stage production, has uh, so much power, so much um, intrigue, because we're, we're making what is personal, private, um, deeply psychological, um, a public expression. With somatics, this area, the question of the week, what is somatics, I want to um, offer the analogy of um, our homes. Those of us who um, live in a house, stands alone, um, certainly in my case, uh, I have a red brick colonial, it sits on some acreage, and uh, the outside of my house looks very traditional. You. Um, you know, red brick, colonial pillars. It's like, okay, I know what that is. I've seen a lot of those. However, once you walk in, um, you have the opportunity to learn more about the individual who lives here. And um, we're in my study, so there's a lot of images here that are absolutely personal, have nothing to do with uh, expectations of um, traditional values. Um, or perhaps they do, it depends on how you look at it. With Soma, in the same way, um, unlike the dancer standing in front of the mirror, the 13-year-old standing in front of the mirror, the 50-something-year-old standing in front of the mirror, um, it's not about objective self-perception. Instead, it's from the inside out. How do I, how does it feel within my soma? When I close my eyes, where are my fingers? How am I sensing them? And as you begin reading um, our book on awakening uh, the somatic intelligence, one of the things we're working on with this book, um, she talks about blindfolding, and that was her way in to this somatic intelligence. Um, same thing can be accomplished, you know, stretching out on your back, closing your eyes, and taking your focus inward. Um, very different from, you know, how does my arm look? Is it, do I have the right curve, or, you know, am I uh, coming at you with um, a look of anticipation, excitement, it's no. It's how are my hands when I close my eyes? What am I feeling? And, and we become, hopefully, um, gradually more and more aware 
of maybe tingling in the tips of our fingers, or maybe even a sense of our blood pulsating down through our wrists, or maybe it's um, a sense of warmth coming into the tips of the fingers. How does this uh, increase our value um, as far as our psychic understanding? I think a, a big issue we're looking at here is um, being the subject of our lives, being the, the subject of um, our physical health. Certainly most medical systems are designed, uh, what do you give them? Your birthday. Um, so you're a number in their system. And all the data they pull up has to do with uh, what's your blood look like, uh, what's your diagnosis, um, how are you reacting to treatment. And this is a, hopefully a way of empowering us um, as individuals creating our own personal story. As you read um, somatic psychology, one of the things that we work with um, in this book is looking historically at the development of this somatic approach to psychology um, and the various players in that, Jung being one of them, Freud being one of them. But um, how, how does that inform us as perhaps therapists, as educators, perhaps those people who are working in communications? What does the somatic way of looking at ourselves and at others um, offer us? What kind of weigh in? What um, is talked about a great deal in awakening somatic intelligence is healing. Now healing, of course, we're not talking about cure. And with somatic approach, we're not necessarily, go our goal isn't to fix somebody. Um, my training in somatics, uh, beyond the dance therapy work that I did in my early career, was really with uh, Sandra Fraley, who's East-West Somatics Institute. I'm one of the trainers in that um, school. And what we work with there is hands-on work. Sandra Fraley was trained first in Feldenkrais work, um, but actually first as a dancer. So a sense of her own body in motion, and then the Feldenkrais work on top of that. So as we continue working together, one of the things I'm going to be demonstrating, I hope for you, are some of the ways that this approach to somatic intelligence of viewing our own soma with an inward focus rather than a reflection back to us from either other people or a mirror, is um, what avenues it can open for us to have a deeper personal understanding and as therapists, another way um, to, into understanding our clients' symptoms um, and also just their way of being in the world and to reflect that back to them. So we'll be uh, walking through this course, starting also with um, bone, breath, and gesture. Here we've got a series of articles written by the the pioneers in this field of somatics. Um, John, uh, Johnson is certainly um, a significant player, he who edited the book. His definition of somatics is echoed through much of the reading, and again, this idea of soma being the body is viewed from the inside, from within, the inside out. So we will continue, I'll um, look forward to our continued focus on SOMA as it relates to Psyche. Thanks for joining me.